All right, I did my presentation on the life and contributions of Marie Curie. So if you want to read along Dr. Moser on the Google slides so you can see pictures too, go ahead. So who was Marie Curie? Uh, she was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize and the first person, man or woman, to win the award twice. With her husband, uh, Pierre Curie, Marie's efforts led to the discovery of polonium and radium, and after Pierre's death, the further development of x-rays. The famed scientist died in, nine, uh, in 1934 of a plastic anemia, and it was likely due to exposure from radiation. Childhood and education. Uh, so Maria wa Maria Skaladowska, uh, later known as Marie Curie, was born on November 7th, 1867 in Warsaw. Uh, Curie was the youngest of five children. And she took after her father and had a bright and curious mind and excelled at school. Uh, despite being a top student in her secondary school, Curry could not attend the male only University of Warsaw and instead continued her education in Warsaw's Floating University, a set of underground informal classes that was held in secret. Both Curry and her sister Bronia dreamed of going abroad to earn an official degree, but they lacked the financial resources to pay for more schooling. Undeterred, Curry worked out a deal with her sister where she would work to support Bronya while she was in school and Bronya would return the favor after she completed her studies. So Marie Curie's discoveries. Uh, fascinated with the work of Henri Becquerel, a French physicist who discovered that uranium cast off rays weaker than the x-rays found by Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen, Curie took his work a few steps further. She conducted her own experiments on uranium rays and discovered that they remained constant, no matter the condition or form of the uranium. The rays, she theorized, came from elements of atomic, uh, elements atomic structure, and this revolutionized the idea of atomic physics, and Curry herself coined the word radioactivity to describe the phenomenon. So Curie's Nobel Prizes... She won two of them, one in 1903 for physics and one in chemistry in 1911. And she was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize uh, twice. And she remains the only person to be honored for accomplishments in two separate sciences. She received the Nobel Prize uh, in physics in 1903 along with her husband and for their work on radioactivity. And with their win, the Curie the Curies developed an international reputation for their scientific efforts and used their prize money to continue their research. In 1911, she won her second Nobel Prize in chemistry, and that was for the discovery of radium and polonium. And while she received the prize alone, she shared the honor jointly with her late husband in her accept, uh, acceptance lecture. So death and legacy, uh, Curie died on July 4th, 1934 of a plastic anemia. And once again, she was believed this was due to exposure to radiation. She was known to carry test tubes of radium around in the pocket of her lab coat. So that was one of the main reasons. And many after many years of working with radioactivity materials, it took a toll on her health. And but despite all this, uh, she made many bre breakthroughs in her lifetime and is will be remembered as a leading figure in science and a role model for women and has received numerous posthumous honors. And that's it. Thank you.